What's the advantage of a low residency program? For me, low residency was the only way to go. I could not have completed an MFA program otherwise. I have a job that is extremely demanding, high travel, 24-7, uh, so I'm always on the go and could not have any other kind of program that would give me the flexibility a low residency program gives me. If I had to be at a classroom at certain times, um, certain locations, I, I would not have been able to get through my, my MFA, which has been, you know, a long time goal of mine. How is mentoring different from a course-based program? Mentoring is different because rather than being in a classroom every week following um, a curriculum, you develop your own curriculum with your mentor um, and you work with them over the five month period. So you get to uh, really tailor your program to what it is you want to achieve and you work one on one with your mentor to achieve your goals as well as in a group. I think of the mentor as a coach, right, with me in, in, in my office. I've got a home off office, I guess, as most uh, all students do. I also like the fact that the coach is a writer. They know what it's like to write. They know what it is when you stumble. You can't come up with an I, a sort of an I, idea. They're basically alongside of you at the other end of a keyboard. This is a person who's teaching you from their expertise. And the level of expertise at Antioch in our MFA program is, is high, it's, it's world renowned, if you will. And having someone who has that knowledge base to give you a hand is one of the, the rare experiences that you won't get many other places. Um, also, this person doesn't just give you some suggestions and perhaps wait for you to attend office hours. They reach out to you and they are as committed to your endeavor as you are. So having a mentor doesn't only mean that you have um, a professor, you have an expert who is a steadfast companion through your, your experience. Are most of the people in the program from Los Angeles? It seems that people have been coming from all over the place, especially now that uh, the program has been recognized by the Atlantic and AWP, the Association of Writers and Writing Programs, uh, naming AULA in the top low residency programs in the country. Um, and that certainly um, appeals to everybody. And the way the low residency program works, um, you certainly don't need to be in LA. Um, in fact, in my um, cohort, my five closest friends, um, we're all from six different states. And uh, even though we've graduated, we keep in touch weekly by email. So is social justice a major part of the program? They don't make you write a certain way at Antioch. And it's my favorite thing about this program. Other programs have been accused of having specific styles that they try to push the writers into. I had one workshop where we had an experimental piece, a standard literature piece, a chick lit bodice ripper, and a historical book. And uh, it was really exciting to see all of those different minds and those different approaches working together um, toward the overall process of just making work better, which is what they do. Yeah, and I'd like to um, add on to that. You know, I did memoir work, which wasn't uh, social justice at all. However, my internship was heavily involved with social justice, and I think that Antioch prefers that you do look for internships that are revolved around social justice. Mine in particular was uh, uh, working with incarcerated teenagers uh, in juvenile hall, teaching them uh, self-expressive writing and creative nonfiction so they could express themselves. And it was something of immense value to me because it told me that A, I could teach and B it was something that I got tremendous satisfaction from and something that I still continue to do this day with uh, great satisfaction. So how do you strike a balance between school and your personal life? Most writers that I know have to maintain day jobs, have families, have children, have other responsibilities outside the world of AULA and, and the life as a writer. What um, a low residency program like, you know, this teaches me is specifically how to organize my time around my other responsibilities. So for example, a lot of times we'll be given 
anywhere from three to five books a month to read. And some of those are group reads, and some of those are individual reads that my mentor and I will select together based on the kind of work that I'm writing. And then there's the minimum page numbers, the number of pages that I have to submit each month of my own original writing. So to structure that around all of my other responsibilities, you're typically looking at anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a week. So it's really important for someone like me to structure either before work hours or after work hours, structuring time on the weekends. But what it does is it teaches me that writing can be no matter what that anybody can be a writer, anyone can fit it in. It's about setting priorities and finding that balance.